It is the first meeting the Minister of Information and Culture, Alahaji Lai Mohammed, is having with the media in 2022. And the focus is on the Buhari administration's war on corruption. I said the fight against corruption. This briefing is holding about a week after the Transparency International released its latest corruption perception index, where Nigeria dropped five places to 154 out of 180 countries. However, Alahaji Mohammed is quick to state that the briefing is not in a response to that report. I'm not really impressed or moved by what TI says. I am more concerned about what we're doing. The minister links corruption with the war on terror, stating that a progress report from the Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit reveals 96 financiers of terrorism in Nigeria. 96 financiers, financiers, financiers of terrorism in Nigeria. 424 associate supporters of the financiers. The involvement of about 123 companies and 33 road change. The analysis has resulted in the arrest of 45 suspects who will soon face prosecution and seizure of assets. The minister accuses naysayers of continuing to dismiss the Buhari administration's anti-corruption efforts. He reels out the achievements of the various agencies fighting corruption in the country in both the public and private sector. In 2021 alone, BFCC secured a total of 2,220 convictions. The TSA system has now been implemented in more than 90% of all federal MDs. The executive order in 2020 that gave financial autonomy to local governments, to state legislatures, to judiciary, some of the most effective ways of fighting corruption. The Minister of Information and Culture is stating categorically that today's briefing has nothing to do with the Transparency International report. However, this particular report by Transparency International identifies particular areas where corruption is rife, especially in the public service, where public servants have been accused of taking kickbacks for doing their job. Well, the Minister of Information and Culture believes that it is possible for us to check these particular excesses if everybody puts their hands on deck and follows the Buhari administration in its fight against corruption. Kayla Megwa, Channels Television News.